Life can sometimes feel like a maze of relationships, a never-ending journey filled with twists and turns. But have you ever wondered if the people in your life are genuinely there for you or just taking advantage of your kindness? I've been there and I know how it feels to question the authenticity of the bonds we form. It's like standing at a crossroads, unsure which path leads to genuine connections, the kind that uplift you, inspire you, and bring out the very best in you. But guess what? You're not alone in this journey, not anymore. Today, we're diving deep into an exploration of human behavior, emotions, and the profound wisdom of Stoicism, my favorite philosophy to decode the subtle yet revealing signs that someone might be using you. These signs, they aren't just random tips or generic advice. No, they're carefully crafted insights that you can relate to, learn from, and implement in your life. We're talking about real solutions here, solutions that empower you to see beyond the surface and navigate your relationships with newfound clarity and self-respect. Because this isn't just about avoiding users and toxic people. It's about attracting and nurturing bonds that are truly rewarding, bonds that enrich your life, uplift your spirits, and contribute to your personal growth. So, are you ready to transform how you perceive and navigate your relationships? Are you ready to move towards more genuine, fulfilling connections? If the answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. But before we do, remember this. As we journey through these insights, we'll anchor ourselves in the wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches us to focus on what's within our control, to value self-awareness, and to insist on the respect we deserve. So grab a seat, get comfortable, and get ready for a journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and genuine connections. You've just embarked on a path to a better you. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss this. Number 1. Diminishing Comments Picture this. You've achieved something you're proud of, something that took time and effort. You excitedly share it with someone, expecting a pat on the back, a high five, or just a simple congratulations. But instead, what you get is a dismissive, that's all. Or maybe you open up about your dreams, your aspirations, your vision for the future, and all you hear is them belittling your dreams. These aren't just casual remarks, my friends. No. They're subtle tools used by some to keep you in a perpetual state of self-doubt. It's like they're trying to make you feel smaller so they can feel bigger. It's like a game for them. But here's where Stoicism comes into play. You see, Stoicism teaches us about focusing on what's within our control and your reaction to these diminishing comments. Well, that's within your control. Next time someone tries to downplay your achievements or belittle your dreams, Remember this stoic principle. These comments, they say more about the speaker's own insecurities than they do about your worth. It's their way of saying, I feel threatened by your success. So what can you do? You have a choice, my friends. You can either let these words have power over you, or you can see them for what they truly are. Reflections of someone else's inner turmoil. Your self-esteem, well, that's not a tool for others to undermine. It's your shield, your strength, unyielding to the whims of those who seek to use you for their gain. Surround yourself with positivity, with people who genuinely support and uplift you. In the world seen through the stoic lens, your life is too precious to be dimmed by others' insecurities. Maintain your inner peace and let your actions speak louder than words. Remember, in the stoic pursuit of personal growth, your self-esteem is not a tool for others to undermine. It's your shield, your strength, and it's yours to protect. So the next time you encounter diminishing comments, meet them with equanimity and self-assurance. A true stoic doesn't engage in petty battles of words. They stand firm in their self-worth. Your journey is about personal growth, 
and you deserve relationships that uplift you, not drag you down. Number 2. Broken Promises We've all encountered these individuals at some point in our lives, those who are like magicians of words, weaving stories and making grand promises with the ease of a seasoned storyteller. But when the moment arrives for them to step up and turn those words into actions, they vanish into thin air, leaving behind a trail of unfulfilled promises. It's like watching a magic show, isn't it? They make you believe in the impossible, in the incredible, and you eagerly await the moment when they'll pull that rabbit out of the hat. But instead, what you get is an empty hat and a sense of disappointment. Now, Stoicism teaches us something essential here. It teaches us the importance of actions over words. Actions, you see, they don't lie. They are the true measure of someone's intent and commitment. So, when promises become a currency, freely given but rarely cashed in, it's a sign. Pay attention to the pattern. Does this person consistently fall short when it matters most? Are there words like beautiful blueprints for a house, but they never show up on the construction site? The foundation of trust cannot be built on words alone. Now, here's where stoicism comes into play again. It's not about being cynical. It's about being discerning. Trust and relationships, they are built on a balance of words and actions. When someone's actions consistently don't match their words, it's a red flag. It's a sign that perhaps they are more invested in the idea of being seen as supportive rather than actually being supportive. In recognizing this, you empower yourself to make informed decisions about who you let into your inner circle. You see, your time and emotional investment are precious. Reserve them for those who don't just speak, but also act with sincerity and integrity. Quality trumps quantity in relationships. You're not just a resource. You're a person deserving of a balanced, reciprocal connection. Don't settle for a one-person show. You deserve a supportive team on this journey called life. After all, how else can you grow? So, when you encounter broken promises, remember this stoic wisdom. It's not about cynicism, it's about discernment. Trust and relationships are built on a foundation of words and actions in harmony. Those who consistently fall short in their actions may not be the companions you need. Number 3. Unilateral Benefit Picture this. You're the constant giver in a relationship. You offer support, your time, and what do you get in return? Deafening silence when you need a hand. It's not just about being generous, it's a glaring sign that you're undervalued. Now, here's where our friend Stoicism comes in, my dear viewers. You see, Stoicism teaches us about mutual respect and balance. These are essentials for any healthy relationship. Your worth isn't measured by your generosity or your availability. Recognize this one-sided dynamic and dare to set boundaries. It's not selfish, it's self-respect. Engage in honest conversations and see who adjusts. Those unwilling to reciprocate are merely making room for people who genuinely value you. Remember, quality trumps quantity in relationships. You're not just a resource, you're a person deserving of a balanced, reciprocal connection. So, don't settle for being the solo performer in the relationship orchestra. You deserve a supportive team in this journey called life. After all, how else can you grow if you're carrying the weight of the world all on your own? Remember, Stoicism teaches us that your self-esteem is not a tool for others to undermine. It's your shield, your strength unyielding to the whims of those who seek to use you for their gain. So, if you find yourself rowing that boat all by yourself while someone else enjoys the scenery, it's time to reflect on Stoic wisdom. Don't settle for a one-person show. Seek those who understand the importance of balance in relationships. Stay discerning and choose relationships where mutual respect and reciprocity are the guiding principles. We're on a journey of self-improvement and it's essential to surround ourselves 
with those who appreciate our worth. Number four, disregard for your emotions or needs. Every time you speak, it's like your words evaporate before they reach their ears. You pour your heart out and it's as if you're just another piece of furniture in the room. It's not just carelessness, it's a deliberate act to keep you under their thumb. It's a clear deviation from the Stoic principle of mutual respect and empathy. In Stoicism, we learn to value each other's feelings and needs. In this scenario though, it's like they've become artists of your emotional landscape, painting it with colors of neglect and indifference. But here's the thing, your emotional well-being matters. Your feelings are valid, your needs are important, and it's crucial to recognize these patterns. When your joys and sorrows are met with indifference or hollow words, it's a sign. To break free from these chains, you first need to listen to your inner voice. It's that quiet whisper that tells you, this isn't right, trust it. You are not a background character in someone else's story. You are the lead in your own. When your emotions and needs are brushed aside, it's time to speak up. It's not about starting a conflict but about honoring your feelings. If they continue to ignore your needs, it may be time to reevaluate the relationship. Remember, Stoicism teaches us that respecting yourself is the first step in teaching others how to respect you. Sometimes, the most empowering thing you can do is walk away from those who don't value your worth. So, let's stand up for our feelings and needs. Surround yourself with people who not only hear you, but also see you. Relationships should be a two-way street, not a one-way alley, leading only to someone else's happiness. In the pursuit of self-improvement, remember that your peace of mind is your most valuable possession. Guard it with the wisdom of a stoic warrior. Your well-being matters, and you deserve to be in relationships where your feelings and needs are not just acknowledged, but cherished. Number five emotional manipulation. Imagine navigating a relationship, a friendship, or even a workplace where your confidence begins to wane. It's not due to any personal change on your part, but because of someone's hidden agenda to manipulate your feelings. These manipulators, they're clever. They cloak themselves in the guise of a friend or ally, skillfully chipping away at your self-esteem. They employ a cunning mix of praise and criticism, making you dependent on their validation. But here's where we anchor ourselves in Stoicism. We remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, that beacon of Stoic philosophy. He said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This profound insight is our armor in the subtle battleground of emotional manipulation. When interactions leave you more drained than uplifted, it's time to take note. This awareness is your first step towards empowerment. Boundaries are not just lines drawn in the sand, they are the walls of your mental fortress. So, speak up for your values, challenge inconsistencies, and most importantly, Engage with those who respect and encourage your growth. Remember that your peace of mind is your most valuable possession. Guard it with the wisdom of a stoic warrior. In the face of emotional manipulation, recognize that you have the power to choose how you react. Sometimes, the most empowering thing you can do is set boundaries and walk away from those who seek to manipulate your feelings. Stoicism teaches us the value of self-control in the face of emotional manipulation. So, let's stand strong against emotional manipulation. Trust your instincts, challenge the manipulation, and protect your peace of mind. Your mental space is yours to govern, and by protecting it, you not only honor yourself, but also uphold the stoic virtue of self-control. Remember, your well-being matters, and you deserve relationships that are built on trust, respect, and authenticity. Number six, lack of genuine support. At the heart of every meaningful relationship lies the bedrock of genuine support. 
It's like having a personal cheerleader who's with you through every high and low. But what happens when this support is missing? Well, it's like walking a tightrope without a safety net. You make a move, hoping for an encouraging word or a helping hand, only to find a void. This absence is a glaring red flag in any relationship, signaling that you might be in the company of someone who sees you as a mere stepping stone rather than a partner in growth. Genuine support, you see, isn't just about constant agreement or unwavering cheerleading. It's about having someone who values your dreams as much as their own. When this support is missing, your triumphs and trials become mere background noise to them. They might nod along to your stories, but their minds are elsewhere. They're like shadows that appear when the sun shines bright, but vanish at the first sign of a storm. Such relationships are draining, leaving you feeling alone in your endeavors. So, here's the stoic wisdom we anchor ourselves in, recognize these patterns. When your joys and sorrows are met with indifference or hollow words, it's a sign to re-evaluate the depth and direction of the connection. To thrive, surround yourself with people who genuinely invest in your well-being. It's not about finding yes-men or yes-women, but those who challenge and uplift you, celebrating your victories and standing with you in your defeats. In a world where relationships can often be superficial, cultivating connections that are rooted in mutual respect and genuine interest is not just refreshing, it's essential. These are the bonds that not only withstand the test of time, but also propel you forward, enriching your life with a sense of shared purpose and understanding. So, remember, you're not just looking for companions, you're seeking allies in the journey of life. Genuine support is the fuel that propels us forward on this path of self-improvement and growth. Number seven, constant competition. In the Stoic philosophy, they talk about focusing on what's within our control and not worrying about what's beyond it. Well, constant competition often leads us to focus on things that are beyond our control, like how we measure up to someone else's achievements or possessions Think about it. When you're in a constant battle of one-upmanship, it's exhausting. You're always tallying who owes what, who's ahead and who's behind. It's a draining way to navigate any relationship, be it with friends, family or colleagues. The Stoics would remind us that genuine relationships thrive on mutual growth and shared victories. It's not about keeping score, it's about lifting each other up it's about celebrating each other's successes as if they were our own. Imagine a world where your achievements are not a source of envy or competition, but a source of inspiration and joy for those around you. That's the kind of connection we should aspire to. So, here's the stoic wisdom we anchor ourselves in. Shift the focus from competition to collaboration. Remember, Life is not a zero-sum game. Your success doesn't diminish someone else's potential for success. Instead of trying to outdo each other, work together to achieve common goals. That's where the true strength of relationships lies, in the unity of purpose and the shared journey towards something meaningful. When you let go of constant competition, you create space for genuine connection. You become allies on the path of life supporting and uplifting each other. And that, my friends, is a much more fulfilling way to navigate the intricate web of relationships. So, remember, you don't have to compete in every interaction. Focus on connections built on mutual respect and support. Number eight, absence in critical moments. Have you ever experienced a time when things were going great and you were surrounded by friends and well-wishers but when the tough times hit, some of those friends seem to disappear like shadows in the night. In Stoicism, there's this emphasis on understanding what's within our control and what's not. Well, the behavior of fair-weather friends falls squarely in the category of what we can't control. 
We can't make them be there for us in those crucial moments, but what we can control is how we perceive and react to it. Stoicism teaches us to focus on our own virtue, our own character, and our own actions. It reminds us that we can't control other people, their choices, or their loyalty. So when you find yourself facing the absence of someone you thought was a friend in a critical moment, remember the Stoic anchoring. Your support system should be there when you need them most. But it doesn't always turn out that way, and that's okay. It's during these challenging times that we truly see the quality of the connections we've built. Stoicism encourages us to focus on our own resilience, our own strength, and our own ability to navigate life's storms. Rather than feeling bitter or resentful about fair-weather friends, Stoicism teaches us to turn inward, to cultivate our own inner fortitude, because in the end, it's our own character that matters most. And you know what's truly beautiful about this? When you embrace Stoic principles, you'll find that you become a source of strength, not just for yourself, but for others too. You'll become the kind of friend who's there in the bright days and the darkest hours. So let's remember that while fair weather friends may come and go, your inner Stoic strength is always with you. Focus on building your own character, your own resilience, and be the kind of friend you would want in your own critical moments. Number 9. Lack of Reciprocity In Stoicism, there's this idea of understanding what's in our control and what's not. Well, the actions and choices of others, including whether they reciprocate in a relationship, often fall into that category of things we can't control. But here's the stoic anchoring point. Healthy relationships require a balance of give and take. It's about understanding that you can't change someone else's behavior or force them to reciprocate, but you can control how you approach this situation. Stoicism teaches us to focus on our own virtues and values. It encourages us to be the best version of ourselves, regardless of how others behave. So, if you find yourself in a relationship where you're constantly giving without receiving, remember that your actions are within your control. It's not about tit for tat, it's about setting healthy boundaries and communicating your needs. Stoicism reminds us that we should strive for excellence in our own character and actions, regardless of external circumstances. Rather than feeling resentful or frustrated, Stoicism guides us to turn inward and cultivate our own sense of fulfillment. It's about finding contentment in being the best version of ourselves, regardless of whether others reciprocate. And here's the beautiful part. When you embody stoic principles, you become a beacon of strength and virtue. You become the kind of person who knows how to set healthy boundaries and communicate your needs effectively. So let's remember, that while lack of reciprocity in a relationship can be challenging, it's an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Focus on your own character, your own values, and your own journey towards becoming the best version of yourself. Number 10. Betrayal In Stoicism, there's this notion of focusing on what's within your control and accepting what isn't. Well, the actions of others, including betrayals, often fall into that realm of things we can't control. But here's where the Stoic anchoring comes in. It teaches us to confront the issue with clarity and decide our path forward. It reminds us that while we can't control someone else's actions, we have full control over how we respond. Stoicism encourages us to find strength in adversity and maintain our inner tranquility even when trust is shattered. It's about understanding that betrayal is a reflection of the other person's choices, not a measure of our own worth. Instead of getting consumed by anger or resentment, Stoicism guides us to take a step back, to assess the situation with a clear mind, and to decide how we want to proceed. It's not about seeking revenge or holding on to grudges, Stoicism teaches us to choose the path 
that aligns with our values and principles. It's about finding the most virtuous course of action, even in the face of betrayal. And here's the powerful part. When you embody stoic principles in moments of betrayal, you become a beacon of resilience and wisdom. You become the kind of person who can navigate the storm with grace and integrity. So, let's remember that betrayal, while painful, can be an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. It's a chance to reaffirm your values, your principles, and your commitment to living a virtuous life. Number 11. Selective Availability It's almost like they're saying, you're important but only when I decide you are. And that can mess with your self-esteem, your sense of worth, and your peace of mind. Now, let's bring in a bit of Stoicism here. Stoicism teaches us about the importance of self-worth and self-respect. It reminds us that our value isn't tethered to someone else's whims or actions. In the Stoic philosophy, we find this anchoring, this sense of stability within ourselves. We learn that it's okay to have boundaries, to stand up for our own worth, and to not be at the beck and call of someone else's selective availability. When we internalize Stoic principles, we start valuing ourselves more, not in an arrogant way, but in a way that acknowledges our own dignity and self-respect. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation where someone's keeping you on standby, remember that Stoic wisdom. It's a reminder that you are not a pawn in someone else's game. You're a person with your own thoughts, feelings, and worth. And here's the thing, when you start living in alignment with Stoic values, you become less susceptible to the manipulations of others. You become more resilient, more centered, and more in control of your own life. So, take a deep breath, remember your worth, and don't let anyone play games with your heart or your mind. In the grand theater of life, you're the star of your own show. Selective availability may try to dim your light, but with stoicism as your anchor, you can shine brightly and authentically, irrespective of the external tides. Number 12. Making you feel guilty. Here's the stoic anchor for you. Understanding that saying no and setting boundaries isn't selfish. It's a fundamental aspect of self-care and necessary for your overall well-being. You see, in Stoicism, there's this beautiful concept of understanding what's within your control and what's not. Your actions, your boundaries, they are within your control. But how someone else interprets or reacts to them, well, that's beyond your control. So, when someone tries to make you feel guilty for taking care of yourself, Remember the stoic wisdom that teaches you to focus on your own virtues and values and not be swayed by external judgments. It's not about being heartless or unkind. It's about honoring your own needs and boundaries. After all, if you constantly give in to guilt, you're essentially giving away your own power. In the stoic philosophy, we learn to be kind to ourselves, to have self-compassion, so, saying no when you need to isn't just okay, it's an act of self-love. It's an affirmation that your well-being matters. And remember, manipulators thrive on the guilt they can induce in you. But when you embrace Stoicism, you're not an easy target. You become like this rock-solid fortress of inner strength. So, the next time someone tries to make you feel guilty, for setting boundaries or taking care of yourself. Take a deep breath, remind yourself of the stoic teachings and stand firm. Your well-being is worth it. Number 13, lack of personal interest. In Stoicism, there's a beautiful teaching about the importance of virtue and wisdom. It's not just about how we conduct ourselves, but also about the kind of people we surround ourselves with. When you find yourself in a relationship where your thoughts, feelings, and ideas aren't valued or even acknowledged, it can be disheartening. But remember, Stoicism teaches us about the importance of surrounding ourselves with those who cherish our inner world. You see, 
personal interest in each other is a fundamental aspect of a meaningful connection. It's not just about talking, it's about listening, understanding, and valuing what the other person brings to the table. In Stoicism, we learn about the wisdom of choosing our company wisely. We're encouraged to seek out relationships where there's a genuine exchange of ideas and emotions, where there's a mutual interest in each other's well-being. So, if you find yourself in a one-sided relationship where it feels like your thoughts and feelings are falling on deaf ears, remember that you deserve more. You deserve connections where your inner world is celebrated. Stoicism reminds us that it's okay to prioritize meaningful relationships in our lives. It's not about cutting people off, but about nurturing connections that truly enrich your life. And as you reflect on your relationships, consider the Stoic wisdom that encourages us to focus on what's truly within our control, our choices, our values, and the company we keep. So, if you're playing that one-sided tennis match in a relationship, perhaps it's time to find a partner who's ready to rally with you, someone who appreciates your thoughts and feelings. Number 14. Unilateral Conversations in the world of Stoicism, there's a profound lesson about the importance of virtue, which includes wisdom and fairness. It's not just about how we conduct ourselves, but also about how we engage with others. When you find yourself in conversations where it's all about the other person and your words seem to fall on deaf ears, it can be truly frustrating. But remember, Stoicism teaches us about the significance of redirecting conversations to achieve fair exchanges. You see, in a healthy and meaningful conversation, there should be a balance, a give and take. Your voice deserves to be heard just as much as theirs. It's not a monologue, it's a dialogue, a two-way street. In Stoicism, we learn about the wisdom of ensuring fairness in our interactions. We're encouraged to engage with others in a way that respects their thoughts and feelings, but also values our own. So, if you find yourself in a situation where it feels like you're stuck in a one-sided conversation, remember that you have the power to redirect it. It's okay to steer the dialogue towards a more balanced exchange of ideas and emotions. Stoicism reminds us that it's essential to maintain our integrity in conversations. It's about ensuring that your voice is not only heard, but also respected. And as you navigate these conversations, Consider the Stoic wisdom that encourages us to focus on what's within our control, our conduct, our choices, and our commitment to fairness. So, if you're feeling like your words are being used as mere background noise, don't hesitate to redirect the conversation. Embrace the Stoic principles of fairness and wisdom, and you'll find your way to more balanced and meaningful exchanges. Number 15. Superficial Closeness Stoicism teaches us the importance of sincerity and genuine connections, which are like the sturdy pillars of a fulfilling life. Superficial closeness, on the other hand, can create an illusion of connection without any real depth. It's like having a cake that looks amazing on the outside, but tastes bland inside. Stoicism emphasizes the pursuit of wisdom, virtue, and meaningful relationships. It encourages us to seek out connections that are built on sincerity, mutual growth, and genuine interest. So, when you find yourself in relationships or friendships that seem shallow, where the connection feels more like a facade, remember the Stoic wisdom. Authentic relationships are not just about surface-level interactions. They go deeper, nourishing your soul and bringing genuine fulfillment you see, Stoicism teaches us to value what truly matters. It's about seeking out those connections where both parties are committed to growth, where there's a sincere interest in each other's well-being. And as you navigate these relationships, remember the Stoic principle of wisdom. It's about making choices that align with your values and bring true meaning to your life. So, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're surrounded by superficial closeness, don't be afraid to seek out those genuine connections that align with your values and aspirations. 
Stoicism reminds us that life is too short to invest in relationships that lack depth and authenticity. It encourages us to embrace the beauty of genuine connections where hearts and minds meet on a profound level. So, as you journey through life, remember to seek out those authentic connections that resonate with the stoic principles of sincerity, wisdom, and genuine interest. Number 16. Continued Lack of Respect If you find yourself in a situation where you're continually feeling disregarded, it might be time to take a stoic approach. And that means standing up for your dignity, not in an aggressive way, but with calm and firm resolve. You see, stoicism isn't about reacting with anger or frustration. It's about responding with wisdom and grace. It's like the calm in the midst of a storm. So, if you're facing a continued lack of respect in your relationships, remember the stoic principle of self-respect. It reminds us that we should never tolerate being treated as less than we deserve. Take a deep breath and remember that you have the power to address this calmly but firmly. It's about asserting your boundaries and asserting your worth, just as the Stoics would advise. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what's within our control, and that includes how we allow others to treat us. It's a gentle yet powerful reminder that we don't have to accept disrespect in any form. So, as you navigate your relationships, especially when you feel that continued lack of respect, channel your inner stoic. Stand up for your dignity with the wisdom and grace that this philosophy teaches. You are worthy of respect, and the stoic way is to calmly and firmly uphold that truth. As we come to the end of this meaningful discussion, my friend, I want you to remember that your well-being and your dignity are of paramount importance. In the grand theater of life, you are the protagonist and you have the power to shape your narrative, just as the Stoics would encourage. So, if you find yourself in situations where respect is lacking, I urge you to channel your inner Stoic and with calm determination, assert your worth. It's not about confrontation, but about self-respect. And you are worthy of the utmost respect. Now, before we part ways, I invite you to continue this journey of self-discovery and stoic wisdom by exploring one of the playlists on your screen right now. Dive deeper into the profound teachings of stoicism and uncover valuable insights for a more meaningful and resilient life. Your path to a stoic-inspired life begins with a single step, and this playlist is your guide. Thank you for being a part of this conversation. And until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and always remember the power of self-respect.